Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to pass the multiple selected data or variables from one page to another page using JavaScript. So let's start the tutorial. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. And here we got the final output of our application, how to pass multiple selected data from one page to another page using JavaScript. Now I'm selecting Apple. Now the second element, press Ctrl and click the second element. I'm selecting Apple, Kiwi and Gates. On the second select option element, I'm selecting red and pink. Now when I click, notice here the selected fruits, Apple, Kiwi, Gates, the selected colors red and pink now switch over now this time i'm selecting apple mango kiwi grapes four i have selected uh, here red black and blue see here the fruits i have selected apple mango kiwi grapes the selected colors red blue black for this video tutorial i'm using visual studio code first let's open our folder which is a javascript and here our folder is added to the VS Explorer. Let me expand this folder. Now inside this folder, I will create two HTML pages. One for sender.html and second one for receiver.html. So we are passing the data from one page to another page. So first page name is a sender.htm and second web page I am adding in the same folder, JavaScript folder only. I am adding receiver, receiver.htm and here we got the sender and receiver HTML pages. Now in the sender HTML page, I am adding doc type. Here I am adding one, I am closing the HTML element. Then I am adding the header tag. Header tag. Again I am adding the body element. Now, here in this example, I'm not concentrating much on the designing part. Just I will show you how to send multiple selected variables from select option elements from one page to another page. So let's add the center H1, how to pass multiple selected data from, from one page to another another page another page using javascript using javascript and after that i'm adding one small horizontal line below the horizontal line now i'm adding select element select element in the select element let's add idea of this select element is a cell one and here I'm adding multiple because I want to select multiple elements so, so that's the reason I'm adding multiple now let's declare the child element for the select element option select um, this one I'm adding some fruits select fruits option apple second for uh, second one option mango option kiwi option uh, grapes and the last one i'm adding option gala again let's copy this one second elements I am adding uh, colors let's add the colors the color names are red blue pink black and white just for the demo purpose I am adding only two select option elements where each select option element can I can select multiple elements now after that I'm adding one horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding button control input 
type is equals to submit submit button submit 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 and the value of the button that button label is the collection at the click now this is a uh, when I want to submit type so here I require to add the form element the form element I'm closing after the button element now here in the form I'm adding the action attribute this action attribute will take this receiver.html page receiver.htm and method method is equals to get get now let's save this file save all that's it we have finished in the sender.html page now in the receiver.html page the same thing docker.html HTML let's close this HTML tag let's close this HTML tag header section and header section body inside this body I'm adding center element h1 the uh, items are selected from the sender.htm page after that I'm adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding the selected colors we have two select option elements one for the fruits and, and second one for the colors so this one is the colors uh, fruits let's add this for fruits span element span id is equals to let's add the span one you can give any name for that but i'm giving span then i'm adding one break let's give some horizontal line um, the selected colors colors span span id is equals to span two Span to. That's it. Now here is the logic of the JavaScript. Here the script is going in the body section. In the script. First, I need to declare constant, uh, creating a variable pass variable new URL new URL such parents window dot location dot such after that document dot get element by id the get element by id takes a string parameter that parameter is a span one whatever the span value i want to adding i'm adding here dot uh, text content text content is equals to now the values pass variable this object I am adding pass variable dot get all method the get all method notice the parameter taking the name so here I'll switch to the sender.html in the select we are getting the uh, variables from the select option now so here I require name name is equals to this one you can give any name but here i'm giving name fruits and this one name is equals to colors now we need to add these fruits here between double calls it's a string now then come dot i'm adding join method the join method I'm adding comma because I'm selecting multiple variables see here a string uses to separate one element of the array from the next here I'm selecting the multiple elements let's give some small gap close with colon semicolon let's copy this one we require the span to span to and this one the name of the such element which is a colors copy this one and paste here that's it we have done the complete coding part 
Um, now it's time to check the final output of our application. Save all. I have saved all this application. Now let's open Windows Explorer. Um, where is my folder? He is E JavaScript. Uh, this is the receiver and sender. First sender. Open that one. And here we got the final output of our application. How to pass multiple selected data from one page to another page using JavaScript. Now I'm selecting Apple. Now the second element, press Ctrl and click the second element. I'm selecting Apple, Kiwi and Gates. On the second select option element, I'm selecting red and pink. Now when I click, notice here the selected fruits, Apple, Kiwi, Gates. The selected colors red and pink. Now switch over. Now this time I'm selecting apple, mango, kiwi, grapes. Four I have selected. Uh, here red, black, and blue. See here the fruits I have selected apple, mango, kiwi, grapes. The selected colors red, blue, black. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to pass or send multiple selected data from one page to another page using javascript that's it thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial